Good afternoon everybody, I hope you have a lovely day and today I wanted to talk about RSS feeds and news route. So for those who don't know what RSS is, it's basically when you have all of your websites and all of your updates and like YouTube videos for example, all of that in one single place. So instead of visiting a thousand websites with a whole bunch of ads just to get the latest news, you can simply add the XML URL, the RSS XML URL of whatever news site you want to your RSS readers uh, feeds list or RSS feeds list and every time you open your RSS reader it will basically give you like the latest news all in one place very organized and like you can instead of subscribing to YouTube channels and watching you know YouTube videos on the YouTube website you can simply add the RSS URL of any YouTube channel you want to your RSS readers feeds list and now all of the latest videos from the YouTuber will be on the RSS feed. So today I want to talk about how I use RSS, how I use the Newsraft RSS reader and how you too can very easily use Newsraft and RSS feeds and all of that. So I'm just going to showcase Newsraft here which is my RSS reader. You can see that I only have a couple of YouTube channels, nothing else because you know I don't have many social media. I can reload all of these feeds and I want to check if let's say this channel has any new videos then I can simply click on the video and this will allow me to open it with YouTube if I want to but I'm not gonna do that instead I'm gonna press this custom key binding that will basically open it up with MPV so a little thing that you might not know about is that MPV can actually open YouTube URLs if you just give it a YouTube URL if you go ahead and fetch that video and open it for you so you can like view YouTube videos without a whole, a whole bunch of the ads and bloat and stuff like that it's just raw video experience right and that is how I watch YouTube with MPV and my RSS reader now let's actually move on to like installing Newsraft and configuring it and stuff like that so I'm gonna show you how to use it with this setup right here where I'm using MPV for watching YouTube videos and stuff like that so first you'll just need to install Newsraft which you can do with whatever package manager you use for, for, for like Microsoft Windows and Arch Linux you should be able to run a pacman-s Newsraft I'm sure that it's available on the repositories on void you do xi or xbbs install Newsraft and that's just how you install it you can check the internet for how to install it on your operating system if it's not supported or you can't figure it out and you can actually just view the manual page for Newsraft to get started you can see that it is a feed reader for them now now a cool thing about Newsraft is that it actually has all of your Vim key bindings so you can use like HJKL to navigate Newsraft which is a really nice thing and if you read this main page it actually has configuration options and this is the config file if you go to dot config for slash newsraft that is where you have the configuration files now here i have two files the most important one is feeds which if i just open that file this is where you actually put all of your rss feeds so let's say i want to use reddit which i actually don't use reddit that much but let's say i wanted to use it then i would go to like let's say reddit.com for slash r slash Linux. I'm pretty sure that that subreddit exists. Then we can actually go here and like I think there is a dot RSS file for Reddit. You can simply get the URL to that file. So let me copy that and let me add it in my RSS feed URLs file. And we can add comments if you want to. So this is going to be Reddit R slash Linux. Let me get out of that. Now if I open up Newsraft again and I press Shift R to reload all of my feeds then this should show me the Linux subreddit and oh would you look at that it has a nice unification that says Newsraft has bought uh, 27 news I mean Newsraft not Newsraft and uh, we have the latest post here so you can see this is the bad website you know the JavaScript bloated stuff and here is the post that I want to view for example I can simply click on that and now I can get the post in my RSS reader and I'm sure that there is a way to like read the post inside of my RSS reader as well so that's simply how you configure Newsraft to add you know new feeds 
as for youtube channels you simply add it like this youtube.com feeds videos.xml channel id equals and then the channel id of the channel you want to view so let's say you want to get my channel id you would go to my uh, youtube channel which is youtube.com forward slash at boy and let's just wait for this website to load up it takes a while but uh, basically you can go to the more section here click on share channel click on copy channel id that would actually give you the channel id so if you were to type that in www.youtube.com feeds videos.xml question mark and i do channel id equals paste the scene and then you can give it a comment if you want to but basically now if you open up the news raft you can simply press shift r to reload all of your feeds it should show that new uh, feed right here you can see all of my latest videos are going to be there and now when it comes to configuring news raft this is basically how you do it so i've took uh, these two things these config snippets from news raft man page so if i go ahead and run man news raft search for that mpv command there should be an mpv, MPV command here uh, let's see let's just go down this uh, manual page um, yeah here it is so this is the configuration example that they've given so i can bind m for executing mpv on a link so i can watch youtube videos like this i could do f to open up images with the new symbol Im x image viewer and so on and this is the basics of using newsraft and this is how i use it it using it is very easy you can just open it up you know you have your win key bindings you can press shift r to reload stuff d to show only the unread stuff f for important stuff and so on so you can do capital f for unimportant stuff you can use your win key bindings obviously and that is going to be it for this video